So I looked into Donald Trump's birth chart and what I found is that he's actually supposed to be, or he is quite the anarchist. So we're here in Trump's chart, right? And I said in a couple of videos in the last video that you look to your Mars placements to see where your true passion is and what you're truly supposed to be doing. Donald Trump has his Mars in the sign of Leo at the 26th degree. The 26th degree is a Taurian degree, which means that he's fixed on his ideas, on his passions, and he's never moving. Taurus also rules the arts and creativity, keeping up traditional values or being traditional and cozy and comfy and it sits on his ascendant from his 12th house. So what I see is that he's either a creative person, a very spiritual or intuitive person, because that is the 12th house. And he has Pluto there, so he could be very spiritual, bit psychic even, but he could also be his worst enemy. With it sitting on the ascendant, he's meant to be a fighter, a leader, a rock star. Leo is a rock star in the lead act. But what I'm seeing is that there's also a sextile, right? So that means that he's a confident person. It means that he's robust, he's assertive, and he can make quite a great speaker even. He can even be a motivational speaker. But I want you guys to look a little bit closer, like this close. He has the sun conjunct his north node, so that means that he's been brought into this life. His destiny is to be a leader, be regal, be in charge. But it's also making a conjunction to Uranus. Uranus is rebellious. It doesn't like to be told what to do, but it will pull through when it comes to the causes for people. It's very humanitarian. It's very freedom fighting. It's an anarchist and it's in the sign of Gemini. Okay. So he's going to use his voice to vocalize whatever he deems as unfair, unjust, especially to the people. But on the other hand, Uranus is about shock, shock value. And with it being an assignment Gemini, he says a lot of shit that shocks a bunch of people. And that's what happens when you have Uranus, okay? The rebellious, shocking, unpredictable planet in the 10th house, the public house, the public image in the career. And it's conjuncting his North Node. So he was supposed to, I'm not gonna say be a Moses, but I will say be a Robin Hood. He's supposed to bring liberation and freedom of thought and expression and communication because all this is in the sign of Gemini, no matter how screwed up it may be. Because remember, Uranus doesn't always satisfy what we think should be satisfiable. It's unacceptable. Uranus is that planet where you're like, okay, shut the hell up. You're, you're going to spill all the beans. It's a whistleblower. It could also rule technology and communities. So he's supposed to be over a community, have his own tribe, or be in technology. Because remember, Gemini rules like mini gadgets, your phone, newspapers, podcasting. But he's on the world stage and he doesn't follow the rules. I also want to point out that the sun is at the 22nd degree in astrology. According to astrology, the 22nd degree is a kill or be killed degree. But it's also a Capricorn degree in which you need to, you know, face things head on. Make bold decisions. Whatever planet and sign that it's in shows what bold moves you're going to make. Trump has his in Gemini, which means that he's very bold in his speech. And because Uranus is here, that means he's whistleblowing on a lot of stuff. And what shocking thing happened because Uranus is shocks, especially when you're in the public eye. With the 22nd degree, what happened? This happened. Uranus struck him with a bullet. And in true anarchist fashion, what did he say? Fight, fight, fight. Because from his standpoint, he believes that the government is trying to take away freedom of speech and truth and he got struck for it i feel that he is against like censorship this guy does not like to be censored or hushed he is a gemini with the sun conjunct uranus in the north node the only way you can shut him up trump is a very mercurial guy and i'll tell you why because mercury rules the sign of virgo and gemini he has a lot of virgo even though his ascendance at the 29th indirect degree of Leo, which makes him a very intense Leo acting person who's meant to be in the spotlight and be a leader. He has a lot of Virgo in his first house, coupled by having another mercurial sign, Gemini, in his 10th house, even though his midheaven starts in Taurus. And what we see is that we see Mercury here in the 11th house, which is their ruler, and it's conjunct Midas. Oh yeah, with Uranus in his 10th house, that means that he could also be known for technology and he is known for his quite radical tweets. Now I wanted to take you to his midheaven. This is what you're uh, known for. And it is at the point in Taurus at the 24th degree. 24th degree is a Piscean degree. So I guess he was supposed to be doing something spiritual or something helpful humanitarian to the collective. 
based on the side of Taurus. Taurus rules tradition. It rules conservative values. It rules real estate, money, banking. He is known for that. But he also has Algo there. Algo is a malefic fixed star, okay? That means it causes trouble. It's a demon star. Whatever it is in your chart, it represents intense transformation. It can incite violence, destruction. He has that conjuncting his midheaven. Okay, we just showed you in a way that that can manifest and has manifested in his real life. But it's conjunct the asteroid famer, which is what he'll be famous for. So it's like he'll be famous for this type of controversy. It also has his career asteroid here along with abundance in the ninth house. Ninth house has to do with the international travel, higher philosophy, religion, things like that. So he could find abundance there and he was probably also abundant going into college. And with it being in Taurus, he also had a trust fund, but he also has international properties. Hence why he has the Trump International Hotel. If anybody wants a part two to Trump's birth chart, come at me, bro, or come at him. It was written the stars that you would.